What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Junkyard Breaks. Uh, today is a mail call video. It's everything that I've ordered from uh, eBay, Tops.com, um, wherever else. Uh, this is stuff that I got in uh, in the, the weeks around, what is it, August 26th. So I have a big pile right here. I'm going to, uh, let's see, make sure I don't show my address to everyone. And uh, let's get, let's get, let's get, let's, <laughs> let's get to it. I have no idea what's in here. But I thought it would be fun if we open them instead of just me having a pile of stuff. <clears throat> Always collect these because uh, I use them for shipping all the time. This one's packed well. Okay. Let's see where it is before I just start slicing into the tape on the side. Okay. Good. Okay. Alright, whatever it is, it's fine plus. This one's got a tabby. Oh my god, I just realized you don't even have the top down. There you go. This is what I've been struggling with. Alright, so. This is, we're going to have to go through this one together because this one has been, um, has been advertised as Star Wars Tales number 13, advertised as the first Grogu. Um, so I don't know if it's, well, obviously it's not named Grogu because Grogu being Grogu is the first time ever. And this is a book from a little while ago. So I guess this might be the prototype of a baby Yoda. But we are going to find out together because I don't I don't know. Let's see. First baby Yoda, Star Wars Tales number 13. This is a direct copy. Let's see. Let's see if there's a Grogu. Well, there's definitely a Yoda. The art's uh, very comp, um, very cartoony. No Grogu yet. It looks like a few different stories. I would say, shout if you see something. Another Yoda. That's Yoda. That is not a baby Yoda. Uh-oh. Children of the Force. I am guessing. I am guessing this is where we're going to see a baby Yoda. This might be a very loose... If that if that's what they're saying, it's the first appearance of Grogu. We got problems. That is a baby Yoda. All right. Wow. Okay. Good thing these aren't expensive. That that I guess they're saying is the first baby Yoda, which is a baby Yoda. Certainly not a Grogu. Okay, well, it's been revealed this is what they're considering in uh, Star Wars Tales number 13 as the first appearance of Baby Yoda. These are cheap. They're not expensive books. I think you can get them for like 10 bucks. 
Um, and I don't know if uh, if the collectors are going to hang on to that one as uh, as real. So okay, Star Wars number twelve. It's the first of a few. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Definitely. Uh, remember if I got a couple of these or not so we might see a couple of string or Star Wars Tales number 13 <laughs> hopefully not let's see I like painters tape at least painters tape is easier to, to get off than packing tape packing tape is so difficult um, so at least we'll get it out of its uh, protective covering um, this is one of these top loaders that's weird For uh, any, anybody wanting to ship comics out there, Geminis are the best way to do it. Um, they're not expensive. Um, that is how I ship all my books. Um, they're really recyclable too. You get a lot of, if you buy comics, you get a lot of Geminis. They're great to like, just put your label right over the old label and they're good to go. Oh, so this is, um, I think I won this in an auction. I did not pay a lot. I have not paid any more than $15 for this book. Um, it is the first appearance of uh, Bloodsport. This one's dirty. It needs some love, but this one was super cheap. I think I got the two of these for $15. Um, so this is Secret Origins starring, starring Suicide Squad and the first appearance of Bloodsport. I think I got the both of them for $15. But this one needs some love, and I can give it some love. I can definitely brighten up that cover. Get rid of that 15 up there. But first appearance of Bloodsport. I um, I really like the Suicide Squad movie, so I have uh, high hopes that they'll do another one and bring that character back. And Because I think that, I'll grab a few and hang on to them. Especially now that the movie come out came out interest is waning so now's a good time to get Bloodsport because uh, they are going down okay let's see I'm not sure where's the seam on this oh it's right here See, this is a Gemini, perfect for mailing comics. Hang on to these and you, uh, you ship out yours. This is a nice little interior safety shroud. There we go, and this is Thor number 239. So, um, this one appeared on a... Um, I'll give him credit, Mr. Miracle, his uh, videos. This is actually the first appearance, or first time that the um, As Guardians meet the Egyptian gods, um, which I thought was a pretty good, pretty good spec on his part, um, especially with uh, Moon Knight coming and his Egyptian origins. Uh, so I, I might have gotten a couple of these, but I definitely got this one. It's it's rough. But I can flatten a lot of it out. We'll see. But Thor 239. First time as Guardians meet Egyptians. Kind of cool. Let's see. Let's go here. Sorry. That was pretty loud. This Tyvek is strong stuff. Okay, more painter's tape. I think I know what this is. <laughs> this is actually more, more blood sport. Um, just chop it down the. That's good. Um, like I said, I was picking these up for 15 bucks a book. Um, they're going for really cheap now that the movie is out and the uh, hype is over. 
So now's a good time to get your uh, Suicide Squad characters for a decent price. This one I got um, three copies for 50 bucks. God, painter's tape is... It's everywhere. God. Okay. What am I doing? So yeah, this is three issues of Bloodsport. These are much nicer than the other ones. And like I said, I got three for 50. So a little bit, uh, was that a little bit over $15 a piece, I think, right? So that's it, three issues of Bloodsport. All direct. All right, now this. I think I know what this is. This is the Comic Tom 101 box. So I will get to this soon. This is a future video. Okay. I got. Uh, this should be cool. This one I gotta be a little careful with. This is a jersey I bought. Uh, Mitchell and Ness. Yes, so I'm a Yankee fan, but I love, I got a, a, a soft spot for Dwight Gooden and Daryl Strawberry. And uh, this is an 84 Doc Gooden, Mitchell and Ness jersey. I got it for cheap, like 50 bucks. Anyway, that is a nice jersey. Very nice. Very cool. Very, very cool. Clean. Alright, so that's that. For all I know, some of this stuff might be off of Amazon. Am I expecting, like, cable adapters? All sorts of stuff. This, I'm guessing, is Tops. Yes. Is it? Yes. Oh, about time I got this card. I think I know what this is. <laughs> wow, this took a long time to get here. So this is a Tops Now, my first Tops Now card. Uh, I had to get this one. It's pretty funny. And Tops Now is only uh, they're like $9.99. This is uh, it's in a case. I thought these were thicker, like the Topps Project 70s. But this is the cat. <laughs> <It's> the <laughs> uh, there it is. The courageous cat receives MVP chance in the Bronx. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So there he is. There's the cat. Yeah, he, uh, he held up a game like, I don't know, eight minutes or so. Just running on the field. Pretty funny. Very cool. I'm going to leave this in this case um, like that, and I will uh, put that in a top loader when I get one handy. But, yeah, that's really cool. I've been waiting for that card for a long time. All right, got a couple more. This is probably a comic. Okay, this one's got some thick. Definitely you're gonna come. Definitely gonna arrive in one piece. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I see the book. Okay. Oh, I know what this is. This is because I made another pressing mistake. So I got uh I got him another copy because I screwed up his copy. So. Spider-Man India, number one. This is uh, not an expensive book. I think it was a 
fourteen dollar mistake um, but what happened was and this is why you have to be careful uh, on modern books especially I uh, I was heating up my uh, press to 135 and I didn't realize it that I had the settings for Silver Age on and I turned his copy into a brick it literally fused all the pages together because you for modern books you cannot go higher than 135 degrees um, so that one I pretty much cooked his book at uh, 185 degrees and turned it into a brick so that is the replacement because I screwed his book up. Alright, so Spider Man India. So, Ryan, if you're watching, that's your replacement, and I don't even have to press that because that's a near mint copy. And I will keep the, uh, the bad one and I will use it as a coaster or something because <laughs> it's that, that much of a brick. Alright, this is interesting. In a kind of a diamond, I mean kind of a Gemini, in a plastic bag. So this is from Anthony's Comic Book Art. I don't even know what's in here. Okay. Um, $20. Oh, I knew I, I th I'm pretty sure I got another copy of this, so, okay. This is another one of those Thors. There we go. We got a, this is in a golden, not even a golden age, this is almost a magazine sized. Anyway, nope, we got stickers, we got... All sorts of stuff. I belong the Merry Marvel Marching Society. Okay. And uh, there it is. Thor 239 again. This is a much better copy. First time the Asgardians meet uh, the Egyptian gods. So, thanks again, Mr. Miracle, for that um, recommendation. I think that's a pretty solid one. So, let's see what we got here. I think my knife is getting dull. Is this tops again? No. Did I order a card? Must have. Alright, this is... That's a bit much. Oh, I know what this is. Alright, so he took my best offer on this, which is pretty cool. I paid $3 a piece for these. These are Blaze Jordan First Bowman's. Let me zoom in. Uh, Blaze Jordan First Bowman, Blaze Jordan, Austin Martin, Austin Martin Chrome, Blaze Jordan Chrome. So I paid $3 a piece for these. Uh, that was uh, 15 bucks plus shipping. And uh, yeah, I wanted to get some Blaze Jordans. I want to get an auto, but they're like 250 for a Blaze Jordan Chrome auto. Get that. I am not not paying that much. He's like my friend Tom said. He's not even in the top 100 prospects. So I'll get one. Maybe I'll get one in a, a box somewhere. All right. So now we got this. This is more tops. Project 70 stuff. And then I got this. And that's the end. So let's see what we got. I have said in past videos that I do not keep the sleeves. I know some people do. They keep the flat, they like flatten them and keep the flat sleeves. I don't. Why is this being so difficult? This one should be pretty easy too because I got three of one. Alright, so that is the Mike Trout. It's kind of cool. Who made this one? Uh, DJ Ski. Take it out of there. I mean, honestly, with the uh, flea market, I usually buy these for $19.99. I sell them for almost $30. I leave them in a box, uh, so I double up. I, you know, keep the ones I want to keep, and most of them I, I sell. Uh, this one is 
I keep most of the mostly Yankees. I did keep that Fernando Tatis, uh, not Fernando Tatis, that Ronald Acuna monster one. Yeah, here's the Tatis version of it. So I bought three. I'm going to keep one and sell two, or maybe keep two and sell one. But that Tatis Predator card is sick. That is so sick. I love my Acuna. Alex Pardee, killing it, man. His Trout card is awesome, too. I think I might keep two of these. I mean, they made a lot of them. That one is definitely one that did not slip under the radar. I don't know how to open these. They're in plastic, though. <clears throat> oh, this is the Babe Ruth uh, Men in Black card, which I thought was pretty cool. And that's Ermsey, I think, yeah. Thought that was very cool. Tatis, I did get three. The numbered one of those ones of those sold out really fast. Tops wants too much though. I think it's like a hundred dollars for a number to fifty one or fifty. Crazy. Three ninety nine for one and ten, I think. There's the other one. We got two more. Oh, this is a Roberto Clemente. Beautiful card. That is really nice. I think I got two of these. I think the other one is also Roberto Clemente. This is another one that I have one to, one to keep, one to sell. Yeah, where is that? Pretty sure. There we are. for project 70 and now we got uh, this this is uh, sketch cards I don't know if you ever saw my other video it's called sketch card quest I start drawing my own sketch cards and stuff but um these uh, I buy at cons every year I have a whole collection of sketch cards which I love this is um, I think his name is Tony Esteves but uh, these are cards that I just got off of his Etsy store so I got Bane uh, Mr. Fantastic, Human Torch, Hercules, Trap Jaw. So these are going to go in my uh, my display for sketch cards. Some of these might even show up at the at the flea market because uh, people do like them. So that is it. So that's everything I got in the mail. That was a lot of stuff. Sorry that took to so long. Um, but I will see you guys again next time. Check out everything in the description, the eBay store, whateverthreads.com, my t-shirt store, and my uh, eBay store, I mean my Instagram. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, more people are watching every day, and I'm, I'm love, loving watching the channel grow. Uh, and it's all because of you guys. So tell your friends, um, and uh, I'll see you again next time.